Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of I've Been Killing Slimes for 300 Years and Accidentally Maxed Out My Level. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder, can y'all see that? Mm. I'm not flicking y'all off, okay? Don't, don't think I am, because I'm not. Mmm. In the video, it kind of matches. Am I? It's my head still. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you get nail polish around your hands. Oh, my God. Mm, I'll wait until the end of the video. We <laughs> lunch in my hands. Of course. No. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. Hmm. Oh, we're just showing the same scene over again. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we don't really know why she wants to return home. on my hands freaking nail polish remover oh my god You're gonna, like, at least come back, though, right? I mean... <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Shit, y'all, let's make it a family trip. I wonder what a dragon wedding is like. Is it like a regular wedding? I mean... Uh, I think it might be more like extravagant and such. Oh, oh god, are you sick? Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> Oh, he looks so pretty like that. <laughs> yeah. But they still dragons. Holy mm. Okay. Oh, 
god. Excuse me. I know, and y'all are so small. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm hmm. So basically, the the well, I can't speak. The red dragons don't like the blue dragons. The blue dragons don't like the red dragons. What about a pink dragon? I don't know, mom. Night Well, then, can the blue dragons also turn into humans since, you know, Laika is a red dragon and, you know. It is cold. Girl, I understand that feeling. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh God. Yeah, but it's now too late. You're already in it just as much as everybody else. See? I mean, damn. There's no wonder Aoyuki was a pretty cure last year. No. 
Oh god. That's hellfire. I mean, but the biggest thing is, did they initially say why the blue dragons didn't hate them and why the red dragons hate the blue dragons? Because, I, I mean, yeah, arguments initially like that, but still. Mm, damn. Oh my god! <laughs> Well, she is OP for a reason, sir. So cute. <laughs> mhm. Mm Yeah. Oh. Well, remember, Belzebub is also OP, but I, I don't know if she's OP as Azusa, but, like, hmm. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
I mean, yeah, you might as well. You can't say no. <laughs> it got colder in here. Of course, Hadokata would be drunk like that. Like, oof. How much did you already drink? Did you drink the whole bottle? Aww. Aww. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. That was Shane. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up, Lego? Yeah. That was so cute. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh god, do not throw up on her. Do not. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The girl with the blue tail. Um, Faltek, is that how you say her name? Excuse me. She's interesting. I hope we get to see a little bit more of her and that she kind of goes home with the rest of the girls. Or, you know, because we still have enough room for everybody, but I'm guessing with the relationship of Belzebub and Faltek, they're kind of going to be doing like their own thing and then sometimes coming into like certain episodes and such. When the plot is, like, necessary for them to come, I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, I mean, really, honestly, going on a family trip with Laika to her home and to see her sister's wedding, I wish we would have gotten to see all of it. Because, like, at, at first I was in her, like, yeah, like, what is a dragon wedding going to be? What is, what's oh so special about it? I mean, we didn't really essentially get to see it. I get it because, you know, plot. You can't have everything in there. I think, yeah, we have eventually. No, she's the the blonde girl. The other blonde girl we need. Yeah, that, that Dulahan. No, Dulahan. The ghost. Dulahan is somebody with their head cut off, Deja. Mm-hmm. Like Selty from Dorara. That is a... Cody! Oh, my God. But, yeah. <laughs> it would have been nice to see her um, wedding, but I get it. You got to cut it for time. You can't put 100% everything into an episode. I totally get that. But like it would have been nice. Hold on for a second. Come here puppy. Because you just want my attention. And you just want to get on the bed. There you go. So continuing from where I left off. Before my dog came. And just wanted to interrupt me for a second. But yeah. I mean it was a really interesting episode. The fight scenes. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. Honestly. And I cannot believe I'm going to say this. I would love to see <laughs> any character Aoyuki has played where she she either is OP as fuck, a magical girl, or even a freaking tyrant wanting to control the military. I would love to see any character who is a fighting type character um, that she's played in the last <laughs> battle together and just to see who would win. I mean, my money is a little bit on Azusa, but then my money is also on Waka. <laughs> From Spider, um, and then also Nataka for Pretty Care, but because he Nataka for Pretty Care, she's only OP when she's a Pretty Care. That's it. But I think honestly, really, like almost every fighting type character that Aoyuki has played, 
would be OP as fuck. I mean, you know, Saga, no, Tanya, Saga, Tanya, evil, she got a gun. So I, I think she really has the upper hand out of everybody. But then Wakaba, you know, Wakaba has immortality. She can't die. I mean, you know, now Asusa, she could make a magic cell to make her, you know, immortal or something. But, <laughs> well, technically she is. Because, I mean, she has an age. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I think it would be really interesting to just see all her characters just duke it out like Hunger Games. Somebody's going to do that. Or I'm going to be stupid and I'm going to do that. Like, one day when I'm bored, I'm going to get all my favorite characters and just... Put him in that Hunger Games website thing and just see who wins. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, honestly, like I said, I would like to see a little bit more of the wedding because ish. Uh, but that little moment of like, uh, and I was just at the end where I was just, was just patting her like, oh. That was so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. Like, stop my heart. Like, Jesus, why did you do that to me? <laughs> But it was so fucking cute and adorable. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of I've Been Killing Slime for 300 Years and Accidentally Maxed Out My Level. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. <clears throat> I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode five. Bye, guys.